The idea of professional soccer in the United States, no one had ever really thought about that. So soccer was dead, and then the wolves come along. It should be explained that the United Soccer Association gave North America its first taste of internationally recognized professional soccer in 1967. Wolves in the 50s were um, very, very successful. It was the golden era, if you like. It was us and Manchester United. They were the glamour team. We were the scruffs from the black country. The 1966 World Cup was carried by satellite into the United States, so a bunch of sportsmen thought, oh great, next great sport, start a league. I mean, I'd never been out of England, I'd even been to Wales. They said they were touring like a rock band, zigzagging across the country. Just a completely different world. People were saying you want some weed, then we thought we're in trouble here. Free love, flower power, what more do you want? And the Whips and the Wolves met in a championship playoff game at Los Angeles' Memorial Coliseum to climax the United Soccer Association's inaugural season. It was madness. This little game never seemed to stop. He did the needle ball. We're just getting each other. Now the match they played has been rated by many observers as the greatest soccer game ever seen anywhere. And we're convinced that you will agree with that conclusion after viewing this film. There is that legacy in that they proved that it could work. People will look back and say, what was the history of soccer in this country? And what they do, they have to land in 1967 and say, this is where it all began. <laughs>